In a four-part series broadcast in January, Al Jazeera's investigative unit exposed the Israeli government's attempts to influence British democracy. Can I give you some evidence that you suggest that you will take down? <laughs> the headlines at 11 o'clock. Israel's ambassador to the UK has apologised after a senior diplomat was caught on camera saying he wanted to take down the Foreign Office Minister Sir Alan Duncan. Sir Alan Duncan, who's a strong critic of Jewish settlements. An Israeli senior political officer and a British civil servant were forced to resign. The diplomat in question uh, no longer seems to be a functionary of the embassy in London. Uh, and so whatever, whatever he may exactly have been doing here, his cover can uh, be said to have been well and truly blown. Following that, the pro-Israel media began to attack Al Jazeera. Complaints were made to Ofcom, Britain's Office of Communications. The regulatory body is charged with ensuring broadcasters are fair and balanced. Al Jazeera English is required to uphold its standards. The films were accused of being anti-Semitic, that they infringed the privacy of pro-Israeli advocates, that they were unfair and biased. Ofcom launched an investigation and after nine months, fully vindicated the work of Al Jazeera's investigative unit. It rejected every complaint. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera, Doha. Hey, so